What's that you say, giant flamethrower? This is Resident Evil 5, and I like this scene because they could make an entire Atari game out of this one. Running along moving conveyor belts filled with bodies, some of whom actually grab you. Welcome to Africa. Must be something here he didn't want us to see. You gotta hand it to the team that made this game. They know how to make their cutscenes. Well directed, they look incredible, and they keep them short. What about you? I've got a personal stake in this. If you're going to do cinematic cutscenes, keep them short. I don't need mini movies between each action segment. This time around, we're playing as Chris Redfield and his partner Shiva. The most unrealistic part of this game is that Chris would easily be distracted by Shiva's outfit and killed by the first monster that attacks them. There's only so much one person can do. Even a superhero like you, Chris. This game sets unrealistic standards for what men are supposed to look like. Thanks. No matter how many video games I play and beers I drink, my arms will never be as badass as Chris Redfield's. Or that guy's. You've gotta like it when these giant popular games give you add-on download packs and additional levels in addition to an already massive game. And after this review of Resident Evil 5, I will be reviewing both add-ons, Lost in Nightmares and Desperate Escape, which are available from Xbox Live and PlayStation Network. I never knew such a place existed here. Making one of Capcom's flagship titles larger than it already is, but in a way this game feels immense because it's so incredibly slow. I've always felt that the Resident Evil games were more style over gameplay, and I was a bit disappointed when they moved away from the camera perspectives that they had in Resident Evil 2 and Code Veronica. If you go into this game trying to play it like a shooter, I think you'll be a bit disoriented by this speed. This game relies heavily on aiming and timing, not movement. Chris Redfield makes Marcus Phoenix from Gears of War look like Sonic the Hedgehog. This guy's top speed is reverse. This is an action-adventure survival game, not a shooter. I went into this trying to play it like a shooter, so I was out of ammo and low on health the entire game. That may be how the designers intended the game to be played, though, because it does give you that feeling of, I'm screwed. You have to plan ahead, upgrade your weapons appropriately, and occasionally play things a few times until you figure out the pattern or the timing. And Chris Redfield's fist is more powerful than a shotgun blast. Since it looks like a shooter, I'm surprised that uh, Chris Redfield cannot fire while backing up and jump out of the way quickly. Two things which made me suck at playing this game, although I really enjoyed the minigun scenes. I gotta admit that as much as I enjoy the adventure in Resident Evil 5 and the cool storyline, I prefer the style of gameplay that they used in Resident Evil The Dark Side Chronicles on the Nintendo Wii, which is a terrific game. It's more of a light gun style shooter game. It's funny how two simple things like rolling out of the way and firing while backing up would really have changed my entire perception of the combat. But this is not a shooter, I've just gotta keep that in mind. There's puzzle sequences, it requires a lot of patience, timing, and many of the bosses and enemies cannot be brought down by just simple gunfire. You have to figure out what to do in the environment. Are you knocking something onto them? Are you making them walk into a furnace? Are you encouraging them to eat a gas tank and then shoot them? How about some proximity mines? You can't just shoot everything in this game. And that makes Resident Evil 5 challenging. So while the game may feel bigger than it is because you're really taking your time to walk through these environments, it packs many, many hours of gameplay. And you can play co-op with a friend. So with the Toto song in your head, take a trip to Africa to investigate a new outbreak, corruption, biological weapons, 
And don't forget about your missing partner, Jill. It's Resident Evil 5. And to take a look at the additional missions, check out my reviews of Lost in Nightmares and Desperate Escape.